Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is third class in trigonometry. In first class, we learn what is angle and we learn what is positive angle, what is negative angle. In second class, we are we learn measures of an angle. Angle can be measured in degrees. Angle can be measured in grades. Angle can be measured in radians. In second class, we learn about degree measure, which is also known as sexagesimal measure. In this class, we will learn what is grade measure. Grade measure. Grade measure is also known as centesimal system or French system. Now, we will try to understand what is one grade. First, I will consider a right angle. <clears throat> you look here this diagram. If two lines are perpendicular, then angle between them is known as one right angle. Consider a right angle. Divide this right angle into 100 equal parts. You look here what we written. Consider a right angle. Divide it into 100 equal parts. Here, this right angle is divided into 100 equal parts like this. Here, I, I divide into some parts. Like this, we divide this right angle into 100 equal parts. Each part is called one grade. For example, you see this. This is one part. This is another part. This is another part like that. Each part is known as one grade. One grade is denoted by one power g. 1 grade is denoted by 1 power g. So here uh, you observe here this is 1 grade, this is 1 grade like that. If we started adding this 1 grade, 1 plus 1, 2 grades, 3 grades, 4 grades like that. How many parts are there in a right angle? In this right angle total 100 parts are there. That means 1 right angle equal to how many grades? 1 right angle equal to 100 grades. Now we will try to understand one grade equal to how many minutes. Now what I'll do, I'll consider one grade like this. Okay, now I consider one grade. Look here, this is one grade now. Same diagram I drawn here. I considered one grade. Consider one grade, divide it into 100 equal parts like this. 100 equal parts. 1, 2, 3 like this, you divide it into 100 equal parts. Each part is called 1 minute. For example, this part is there. What is this part? This part is 1 minute. 1 minute is denoted like this. In degree measure also we learn 1 power small dash we will write. 1 minute. So here, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes. Like the total, how many parts are there? We divided this one grade into 100 equal parts. So, one grade, this one full grade equal to how many minutes? How many minutes we will get like this? We will get 100 minutes because it is divided into 100 equal parts. So, one grade equal to how many minutes? One grade equal to 100 minutes. Now, we will learn one minute equal to how many seconds? Now, I will consider one minute like this. Now you observe this diagram. I consider one minute. I'll take only this one minute. You observe this angle. I'll consider only one minute. See here considered one minute. I divided this one minute into hundred equal parts. Look here. This one minute is divided into hundred equal parts. Hundred equal parts. Each part is called one second. We already know in degree measure, one second is denoted by one power double dash. Here, what is this? This is one power double dash. Okay. So here, how many parts are there like this? How many parts are there? 100 parts are there. So one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds like that. How many seconds we will get? Total, we will get 100 seconds in one minute. That means one minute equal to how many seconds? One minute equal to 100 seconds. That we can write like this. One minute equal to 100 seconds. So 
Finally, we learn what is grade measure. What are the important points in this? See, consider a right angle. Divide it into 100 equal parts. Each part is called one grade. So total how many parts are there here? Total 100 parts are there. That's why one right angle equal to 100 grades. This is the one of the important point in this. This is the main point. Now I consider one grade. I considered one grade. I divided it into 100 equal parts. 100 equal parts. Each part is called one minute. Each part is called one minute. Like that total how many parts are there here? 100 parts are there. So one grade equal to 100 minutes. So this is the second important point in this grade measure. Now I considered one minute. Further I divided it into 100 equal parts. Each part is called one second. So total how many parts are there here? 100 parts are there. That means 100 seconds. So one minute equal to how many seconds? One minute equal to 100 seconds. In next class, we will learn very very important measure of an angle. What is that? Radian measure of an angle. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.